Hey guys, it's XOMeg28XX here. You probably know me from my former video, the Cataclysm Review. I'm going to be talking about patch 3.3 that is going to be released uh, sometime soon. There's a ton we can expect from this patch and it looks really awesome. We got tier 10, we got new chamois totems, in-game quest tracker, weekly raid quests, cross server looking for group options, disenchant feature, and also vote to kick options. First, let's talk about the cross server looking for group option. It's going to be much like PvP where you queue up and you just enter your battlegrounds with different players from other servers. You're going to queue up for the looking for group. You'll be teleported inside the dungeon and be able to group a lot easier. Really, really, really significant for the lower levels who want to run through the lower level dungeons and it's really going to help find groups. Awesome idea. Glad they finally are putting something like this into the game. It's going to be very useful and it'll make grouping up a lot faster and easier. Also, if you need to repair or if you need to get something, you can temporarily leave and you'll have the option to teleport back into the instance. So it's not like you get kicked out or anything and it shouldn't prove to be a problem. So it's a really nice feature. They're including a lot with it. Um, it's going to open up a lot of new doors and it's going to save a lot of time. If someone leaves the group, a window will pop up asking you if you want to continue with the dungeon. And the player who left the group before it was over will get a deserter debuff for 15 minutes. You won't be able to queue up for any other dungeons. Now let's talk about the weekly raid quests. They're going to be much like your daily instances, much like your daily heroics. It doesn't matter if you're on 10 man or 25 man difficulty, you're still going to get 5 emblems of frost and 5 emblems of triumph and 33 gold. Now, mainly you're going to be killing bosses such as Sartharian and Ubercon, um, not the Plaguebringer, Vesuvius, Patrick, Maligos, Razor Scale, Ignis, Deconstructor, um, pretty much anyone in Ulduar or Nax. Also in 3.3, we're going to have the boat to kick option. Now, you're going to need a majority rule, uh, 4 over 5 and the player will be kicked from the group. Now I'm kind of nervous about this. I'm really hoping people won't abuse it. And of course people will have ways of abusing it. But it's also really useful in case you have someone in the group that you really just want to be out. The in-game quest tracker is going to be extremely useful. Now when you open your quest log, there will be a button that says show map. And obviously when you click it, it's going to show you where your quest objectives are. Also, when you press M, opening up your map, It'll instantly show where everything is for the quest you have, much like Quest Helper. It's extremely similar to Quest Helper. It's nice because it's an in-game add-on. Areas of interest will be marked off with a number on your map, and there's going to be quest difficulty tracking. Now you can enable this or disable it whenever you want. The disenchant option that'll be featured in patch 3.3 is nice, easy, and extremely useful. Now when you're rolling for something, instead of needing and greeting, there will also be a disenchant icon which will say you want the item, but if you get it, you're going to be disenchanting it, which is really useful. It's just a nice, clean, easy way to go through it. So it's nice to have that featured in 3.3. Now the totems in 3.3 are going to be race specific. We have the dwarf totem. The Troll Totem, the Orc Totem, and the Tauren Totems stay the same, as well as the Drenai Totems. Now let's move on to the Tier 10 Armor Sets. First we have the Death Knight, then we have the Druid, then we have the Hunter, then we have the Mage, then the Paladin, then the Priest, then the Rogue, then the Shaman, then the Warlock, and finally the Warrior. Now my main question for you guys is whose tier 10 set do you like the most? In my opinion, I would have to say the Shaman, because it looks completely badass. The helmet's way cool, so are the shoulders, colors go perfectly, and it's just really great, really detailed. I also like the Warlock. Which one is your least favorite? I would have to say my least favorite's the Priest. I'm really disappointed with that gear, 
Um, they've had really cool stuff in the past, and this is just a disappointment, especially since I play a priest too. So let me know that in the comments. Post a video response letting me know what you think about the tier sets, what you think about the patch in general. Just let me know. So it's really the last patch of Wrath of the Lich King before Cataclysm, and it's really exciting and really awesome. So really excited to see what you guys think. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for everything. You guys are awesome.